Right, hello everybody, welcome to another video on this Ford Fiesta ST. So the uh, next job we're going to tackle on this is the uh, reverse lights that are not working. So uh, as you can see I've got the car in reverse, I'm going to switch the uh, ignition on like so and uh, let's go check the reverse lights. And as you can see, neither of them are working. And uh, actually, believe it or not, I have not checked the bulbs. And the reason I haven't checked the bulbs is because one, as you can see, they're both not working. And secondly, I can actually get a very good look through this clear bit of lens here on both of them. And the bulbs look very okay to me. So obviously that's not a definitive <laughs> way to test the bulb, but because of the way they look and because of the fact that they're both not working um i feel very confident that this or i don't think i should say uh that it's a bulb problem um i think uh it's some other problems so uh i'm actually going to start doing my diagnostics um at the fuse box here so i've got the fuse box uh exposed uh glove box removed and uh by the way that's very easy to do on these you've just got to sort of uh, pull the uh, sides in to release the rubber lugs either side and then the bottom just clips out uh, and there's actually a handy fuse chart at the at the back of the uh, glove box as well and uh, that's our uh, reverse light fuse there as you can see it's got the light bulb symbol with the R inside it and uh, fuse 48 it says and it's in between a it's a seven and a half amp in between a 10 amp and a 30 amp uh, so that's oops this one there uh, so I've got the ignition on I got my uh, my test light uh, I got it connected to a, a little kind of a handy ground uh, ground bolt there so I'm just gonna test the fuse by making sure we got power on both sides so you can't see the um, hang on let me just change hands here So, as you can see, it lights on one side and it lights on the other side. Um, so, uh, by the way, just quickly, I, I think this is a better way of testing fuses. Uh, for, well, for a number of reasons. I won't try and get into them all in this video, but uh, one, one obvious um, advantage, is, as I hope will be apparent, is, is basically you're kind of doing two tests in one because you're not only you're testing the fuse, and you're also obviously making sure that you know you've got power on the circuit there so basically if 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 the if the test light didn't light on either side of the fuse it means you've got no power there on the on the circuit in which case you know you've, you've got to go further back and you know check relays whatever uh if you've only got um uh, power on one side it means it's blown basically and if you've got power on both sides which we have it means you know you've got power on the circuit and the fuse is okay so next step is to check the uh, reverse light switch, uh, which is located um, just at the front of the gearbox. So I'm gonna, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, so just to uh, improve access, I've got the car driven onto this slight ramp here, and uh, obviously uh, safety and all that. So the car is in gear, the handbrake is on, and that back brake, back brake, back wheel is chopped, as you can see. So the, re the reverse light switch is uh, just uh, there, in there. Uh, I've already disconnected the uh, the connector and I've actually uh, jumped the terminals uh, using a paper clip. Uh, that, that third one there is just a blank by the way, it's actually only got two terminals. Now, quick word of caution, uh, you do not want to use this kind of method of, of, uh, of testing of, you know, jumping terminals using a paper clip unless you're very confident of, of the design of the circuit you're testing. In this case, I am because uh, I know that this in here is just a switch. So by jumping it with this, jumping these terminals with this paper clip, I'm effectively having the same effect on the circuit as just switching that switch on. But you know, really, if you're in any doubt, you don't want to use this method of testing. So ju just to uh, just to warn you. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to go and switch the ignition on and uh, check the reverse lights, see if they're on. 
Okay, so ignition on. Uh, the car is actually not in reverse, but that doesn't matter. So let's go and check the reverse lights. And uh, as you can see, they are both now on. So I'm, as I'm guessing, will be so sort of quite obvious. Uh, so the the the, uh, the tests we've done, uh, you know, give us a very high degree of confidence that the uh, the circuit and everything else is all okay. And really, the the only way place the problem can lie is within this uh, reverse light switch. So what I'm going to do is take it out. Um, I, I might have a quick go at sort of maybe like cleaning it up. Maybe I'll I'll, I'll have a look at it. Uh, obviously, you know. Um, uh, I will show you uh, if, 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 I, if I do that or you know maybe just re replace it um, they're, they're not they're not expensive I mean like normally I wouldn't even be thinking of cleaning it or anything because um, uh, you know on, on sometimes they're very difficult to access they're on they're on top of the gearbox and you need to take out the uh, battery tray and uh, maybe bits of the intake all that sort of stuff just to get to it in which case you definitely wouldn't be be wanting to mess around cleaning it you would just want to replace it but because this is easy access here I might have a go at just sort of cleaning it and putting it back in and you know if, if it goes wrong again in the future it can just be replaced then so anyway I'm, I'm gonna whip it out uh, it's, it's just uh, it just bolts in basically I'm, I'm not gonna try and film that because access is too difficult uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll get it out and uh, and come back to you in the next bit of the video okay guys I just thought I'd show you this bit so um, uh, first of all please don't get confused by the jumble of different colored wires basically all this is is the uh, you know the reverse light switch and this bulb just connected in series with this battery and uh, if there was electrical con continuity through this switch uh, this bulb should light and I'll just show you that by doing that with this jumper so uh, the, the way this should work is when this gets pressed in there should be continuity through it and uh, the bulb should light and uh, as you can see that's not happening so what I did try to do was just spray some um, electrical contact cleaner in, into, into there and just kept pressing it up and down up and down up and down up and down like that just uh, thinking that might sort of get it working but it hasn't uh, but I just thought I'd show you this bit anyway uh, so what so I'm gonna go ahead and order order the replacement and uh, when it comes uh, you know just just out of interest we'll, we'll set it up again like this and we'll, um, we'll we'll show it hopefully working and then we'll put it on the car so you know I'm, I'm hoping this bit here might might help you when you're testing you know your, your own one so I'm gonna go ahead and order the new one and uh, I will see you guys when it's here. Okay, so here is the replacement sensor. Uh, this is a uh, non-genuine aftermarket one, uh, which I got from GSF. Uh, it was £9.38 as a click and collect with one of their uh, discount codes. Uh, I did try calling Ford uh, to get a price on a, on a genuine uh, one. It was £48, so quite a big price difference, so I decided to go for this one. Um, I'm pleased to see that it has got this, like, e I'm not sure whether it's thread locker or sealant, or maybe it does a, does a bit of both, but whatever it is. I did notice there was something on the thread of the uh, one that came out, so I'm pleased to see that this one has got this on there, whatever it is. And so I've got it sort of um, on our little test rig again so um, if we just um, test it as before by pressing this button in and out as you can see it's completing the circuit and making that light bulb light so uh, feeling confident that's going to sort our problem out so I'm going to go and get it on the car now okay so sensor is in so I'm just going to go and put it in and out of reverse a few times now so we can see the lights coming on and off Uh, right guys, so as you saw that's a fix. So uh, as always, I, I hope the video was uh, useful and informative uh, to you uh, If it was uh, please uh, support the channel if you can by by clicking uh, subscribe uh, Just for you know those of you who are not that familiar with the YouTube platform uh, just to 
quickly explain. Um, subscribing doesn't mean sort of like having to give your email address or anything like that. It just literally means like clicking that subscribe button. And actually, if you don't want to receive like notifications, you don't even have to receive notifications. If you um, deselect the uh, the bell icon, you won't even receive notifications. So it's really very easy uh, to do and painless, I would say, to do. But it you know it does um, uh, help to hopefully get the channel um, to somewhere where. Uh, I hope I can be bringing you sort of like more and better videos and uh, which which obviously will, will in turn sort of help you. So, you know, I, I hope, you know, by subscribing, it, you know, it can, it can be a, a, an everyone's a winner type situation, if I can put it that way. Um, and I suppose whilst I'm on the subject, you know, th thank you uh, to those of you who already subscribed. It's much appreciated. Uh, look forward to catching you all on the next video. And I'm just going to leave you actually with a little warning. Um, I cut myself when putting that, um, I mean, not badly, but when I'm putting that glove box back on, I, I, the edges where you have to squeeze those rubber lugs past are surprisingly sharp. So just a, a, a quick note of caution, be a bit careful about that. But anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, and uh, like I said, I hope to catch you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye.